Army senior forward Olivia Schretzman moved around quite a bit when she was a child, 12 times to be exact. She was born in Germany, then went on to live in Hawaii, Georgia, Kansas, Ohio, Canada, and New York. Her arrival to West Point in 2011 came just one year behind her big brother Zach, and despite the difficult challenges she faced as a plebe, Schretzman kept her composure and always a smile too. I came in really positive and ready to go, and they used to call me Buddha or like hippie live. They used to call me that because I'd be so overtly positive because that was my way of surviving this kind of tough plebe life where you can't speak outside. So I was so overtly positive and I knew that was what was going to get me forward and I think it really helped on the basketball court. Shredsman had the opportunity to contribute to the team's success right from the get-go and naturally stepped into her role as a positive leader and player down low. She felt comfortable playing post in the paint and being on post at the academy. Being a black knight is in her blood. My mom and dad met at Buckner, which here at West Point we call Buckner Love, but my dad played football here, and then my mom played basketball here, so that's kind of how they met. A 1989 West Point graduate, Olivia's father, Charles Schretzman, is a retired lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Army. Her mother, Stacy Schretzman, also attended the academy and was a two-year member of the women's basketball program. Her brother, Zach, graduated the academy in 2014. Schretzman's family history taught her to keep a balance when times get tough. From an early age, she learned to lead with mottos like no excuses and always show grace, whether she was on the court, in the classroom, or just on her way. I'm really proud to go forth in, in this like endeavor and proud to go on into the Army. I think you know, all of my life I've seen all of these great leaders and just seeing all these heroes growing up as a kid and seeing my dad end up seeing his retirement and having the Chief of Staff of the Army be there and just seeing it all encompass each other and what honor really means. I understood it right when I came to the United States Military Academy. I understood everything my dad said to me growing up and it all kind of made sense. So the last four years I've been able to figure out who I am, figure out how to lead others through like a positive way. And I'm just really excited to go out into the army and, and lead soldiers. Both her parents and brother were in attendance last season when Olivia helped the Black Knights clinch the 2014 Patriot League Women's Basketball Championship title. It was incredible. Another quote that my parents would say, my dad specifically, was those who stay will be champions. And to have them there, it was kind of full circle because I really understood what it meant, you know, to have all of them there day in and day out. And that's what's huge for us is that we were always talking about doing one day at a time, one game at a time. And so like even to have my parents there, part of our organization was so cool because they were there every single game, you know, one game at a time. So they were definitely part of our culture. Shretzman has been a dominant resource for Army's rebounding and scoring efforts this season. But the value she brings as a character on the team is perhaps even more influential. I just think over time I've realized through adversity and as a cadet, you get so much put on your plate that by exuding that to other people, other people start to get stressed out too. Your job as a leader and as a teammate is to be calm, to just be there for everyone and be that force behind the fight. So I think I take that calm mentality as and knowing that we have a bigger mission at hand. That's kind of where I come from. For the Page League Network, I'm Melanie Plowski.